Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Erwin Rommel, and this is my review of The Extreme Fox. My father always used to tell me, if you're not having fun, lower your standards. That's been valuable and useful advice, especially when I sat down to watch The Extreme Fox. I don't remember this getting a theatrical release here in Hong Kong, but maybe I just missed it. I bought this on DVD the other day because it was three for a hundred Hong Kong dollars, and I figured that good or bad, it was bound to be a good movie to review. You can tell this was gonna be three for a hundred pretty quickly because they only printed the outside box. There's no inside label. I can honestly say that this was a good movie to review, even if it's not a good movie. The Extreme Fox is directed by Welson Chin. He directed The Inspector Wears Skirts and some of the sequels, as well as Street Kids Violence. Hey, I like that movie. The Extreme Fox is a parody of the literary classic Strange Stories from a Chinese Studio, the source material for movies like Painted Skin, A Touch of Zen, and A Chinese Ghost Story. The Extreme Fox is a good-natured throwback to some of the period films of the 90s, with a fast pace and irreverent tone, and a period setting that gets juxtaposed with current slang. There's a lot of energy and spirit and fun in this movie. Watching it, you get the impression that the people who made this movie had a lot of fun doing it. It's actually very likely that they had more fun than quite a lot of the people that watched this movie. It's fairly obvious from, you know, the opening frame of the film that The Extreme Fox wasn't intended to be a cinematic masterpiece. The budget constraints on this film would make Bob Crane jealous. It looks like it was made in about three days on someone's phone. But there are moments in it that make me laugh. There's a lot of dialogue and jokes that I don't understand, but I know that they're funny. One of the gags I did understand has to do with unscrupulous tour guides, a problem that occurs sometimes in Hong Kong. It's always funny to me to see modern issues addressed in a period setting. Besides that, there are also more than a few sincerely surprising or even shocking moments in the film that somehow charmed me. I guess because they were completely unexpected. You'd have to see them to know what I mean, but if you watch this movie, I bet you'll realize, oh, that's one of those moments. The effects in this movie cannot reasonably be called special. They're unique, but not special by any stretch of the imagination. But again, I get the feeling that they weren't really supposed to be. It has Chrissy Chow as a ninja, and she's not good at it. What more could you ask for? The subtitles were occasionally very interesting, but I got the feeling that some of that was intentional. Why else would someone talk about the deleterious effects of sucking your whammy gas? The Extreme Fox isn't the worst movie I've ever seen, but it was the best movie that I saw that day. I seriously give the actors credit for keeping a straight face long enough to get one good take. The NG reel that plays during the credits is actually very entertaining in itself, if only because it lets you know that the actors realized they weren't trying to win a golden horse and that they often struggled very, very hard to maintain a straight face through an entire take. I'm not gonna suggest that you should watch The Extreme Fox, but I am suggesting that if you do watch it, you know, because you're on an airplane over the Pacific Ocean or you're stuck at home with the flu and it's on TV, you may find that it has enough redeeming qualities that you won't feel like it stole 90 minutes of your life from you. So yeah, I, I can't really recommend this film, but I can recommend that if you want to see it, you pay for it. In the description, there's a link where you could buy a DVD. It's not expensive, I promise. If you enjoyed this review, please leave me a comment. If you didn't enjoy the review, please leave me a comment. If you enjoy the channel in general, please subscribe. That way you'll see all the new videos as soon as I release them. Thank you for watching.